All right, so in this video, we are going to install uh, Paranoid Android, the latest Paranoid Android, okay? And uh, this particular version is written on top of a stock LG KitKat-based kernel that's been uh, optimized and updated uh, quite a bit by Houston, the developer. So I've actually been running this for a little while, but I have seen a lot of questions in the forums as far as how to install this. So hopefully this video helps rectify some of that. And uh, first thing we want to talk about is if you have the proper modem. You need to make sure you have the proper modem, okay? And then your uh, RPM and TZ for your variant. Uh, and then the ROM and the gaps. So if you're coming from a stock KitKat based ROM, then you should have an unaltered KitKat modem. You should. Okay, so don't worry about the modem part. If you're not coming, or you're coming from anything else that's not stock LG based, just go ahead and flash the modem on the safe side. It doesn't hurt anything. As far as your RPM and your TZ, I'll have some links down from the ones I can find in the forms. Let's begin. I've already done a backup. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe, clean install. All right. And forgive me for not having my Nexus 10 behind here. I just got done sending it out to swap it out for an LG G-Pad. I'm finding the portability to be more important to me. So we've done the wipe. We're going to do an install. Choose it from SD card. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to install my modem. Okay. So let me find my modem here. Oh, I already installed my modem. I apologize, I can't show you installing the modem. But I will give you links for it. I've already installed the modem. It's on my USB OTG cable, which I don't have with me. So I can't show you that one. All right, but you do want to make sure that you install your modem first. And then what you'll see here is I have the G2 RPM TZ D800 KitKat. Okay, you want to flash that. I already have, so I'm not going to do it again. So we flashed our modem. We flashed our RPM and TZ. Now, simply, we are going to flash the ROM. You know what? Actually, it's in my downloads. I did download it. Okay, so let's see. Here it is. PA D800 4.3 Beta 2. The May 2nd zip. I'm going to click here. Here, we're going to install it. So again, just to reemphasize where this is going, we, we flashed our KitKat modem. We flashed our RPM TZ. Okay, we've downloaded them from the links below. Go back. Install from SD. Download. Install my gaps. Now I want you to be aware that sometimes when you're doing these flashings and, and backups and things like that, your phone will get pretty hot. So be aware of how hot your phone is. And if it's in a case like this, it doesn't really give anywhere for the heat to go, really. Uh, it kind of holds it in a little bit longer. So just kind of be aware of how hot the phone is. And just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do I'm going to back up, power options, and power off. Okay, so I am going to simply give this, I don't know, five minutes. Just let it sit here for five minutes and cool off some. And then we will boot it up and see how we look. All right, so we've started the booting process. Literally just a few seconds ago, just got past the LG... Uh, logo. Let's talk about um, boot loops. This ROM was ingeniously uh, built so that if you did not have the proper modem that it would boot loop because there were frequent comments in the forums. I lost rotation, having modem problems, etc. etc. That is incredibly fast for a first time boot. I'm actually going to let that sit there while we talk for a moment let that sit in. Um, so instead of trying to, to figure out whether or not somebody did in fact flash the right modem, this ROM has been built so that if you didn't flash the right modem, uh, you'd boot loop. 
So it's pretty easy for those that say, oh, I'm boot looping. Uh, well, we know why. So uh, it's easier to help you and easier to say, hey, you know, you didn't follow the instructions. And then, of course, it's, well, I misunderstood or downed the wrong modem. Um, well, the fact of the matter is, hopefully, you get a backup. Because nothing that you're going to do there is going to be unrecoverable. Um, none of these files I showed you are going to write over your recovery, so you're fine. As long as you don't wipe the wrong thing. I did use fills for this install video, as you saw, uh, only because I've still been on fills, and uh, it's no more difficult or easier than twerp. So I'm kind of just sticking with it for right now. So let's also talk about why it's important uh, to let your phone cool down. If the phone reaches over 80 degrees Celsius during its boot, uh, there's a likelihood it'll hang, or it'll power back off, or it'll boot loop. Um, it's just a safety that's built in there that uh, kind of, when it reaches 80 degrees, boom, it cuts off. So that's why I always say just let it cool off, and, and that's my understanding. I could be wrong on the 80 degrees, but I do remember reading, I thought it was in the Mahdi form where he actually had to write somebody um, special some fixes into his ROM so that when it booted it would let it get over 80 degrees just to see if that would help him out but uh, you can't go wrong by letting the phone cool down alright so here you have it it's up it's running I'll go through and do my settings and then I'll patch it together and show it to you if you are on an LS or a VS variant the Sprint or the Verizon variant my understanding is you're going to have to go to stock KitKat uh, open your GPS up, let it get a good lock. Use titanium backup or APN backup to back up your, I your APNs so you can restore them later. I think it's more important for the LS. Um, and then when you flash this ROM, after you've done all that, when you flash this ROM, if you get the white lines, uh, check out CloudyFA. He put together a boot stack for you. Uh, I think it's in the auto rec forms. He put together a boot stack for you. Check it out. Um, I think there's a, a procedure there for flashing that and then reflashing the ROM or whatnot. It's, it's written down. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and reference it if I haven't referenced it before in the description below.